battle as a choice. Over an hour. It's taking me over an hour, guys, just to get this game to start. Because first I had to install updates, and then my internet went out. So I had to restart the download for the updates for the system. And then it was telling me that it couldn't find any free memory. Which is stupid, because I know I have plenty of it on the stupid PS3. That's right, I'm playing the PS3 version instead of the 360 version. And I think I know what it is. Because this happened to me when I got Ratchet and Clank when I first got the system as well. It told me I had no free memory. It's because all it did was read like the last two digits of my memory space that was available. And since I hadn't used anything, they read as zeros. So it assumed I had no memory. And I bet you Bioshock did the same thing. Which means I probably just deleted some data for no good reason. Oh yeah, and then I had to wait for it to get done installing. So, you guys are going to love this game. I will make you love this LP. Because it's taken long enough just to get it started. Oh, whatever. Adjust the brightness. It's fine as it is. And it should be fine on the computer. I'll double check. Yeah, it's fine on the computer screen to make sure this is going to be bright enough. Let's see. So the dark gray box is just barely visible against the black background. Whatever. I'm gonna go with that setting because that looks good. Save changes. Oh, come on. Alright, um, I'm gonna play this on medium. You've played other shooters. Not many, but I have. Believe it or not. Technically, I think Ratchet and Clank could count as a shooter. And then we've seen how many times I die in that. Alright. So. Now, for like the fourth time. Welcome, guys, to Let's Play Bioshock. Oh, this takes place in 1960. I did not know that. Yeah, this is a blind run. A red box. Lovely. They told me. Son. You're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Note yourself. Put some titles on. If there was any dialogue there, I did not hear it. I'll hear it back in editing. So, yes, Blind Run. All I know is this has something to do with an underwater city. Which I guess I'm heading to now. play now. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. That looks kind of promising. So yes, uh, Blind Run, don't know what I'm doing. I know this most underwater city and it kind of takes a few jabs at objectivism, which I like for very obvious reasons. Eh, bad pun. Yeah, but yeah, I'm not gonna get into that whole bit. Man, he swims fast. <gasps> okay. Oh good, there's stairs. <sighs> eh. 
anything down this way? No, it's just in our entrance up here. That door was not open before. I'm trapped. No gods or kings, only man. Like I said, objectivism. Yeah, objectivism revolves very much around being, um, atheist. But I'm going to try to avoid talking too much about it because I don't fully understand it, so I don't want to shoot my mouth off like an idiot. Let's just head down. What do we have here? Visuals 10. says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. artist would not be a censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your team as well. So yeah, this is Rapture, and like I said, Rapture Underwater City, and I have no idea what's going to happen now. So yes, Andrew Ryan looks like he's our um, leader, more or less, of the city. Oh, and now I get to a saving screen. It's supposed to do that automatically from time to time. Another lovely microphone adjustment. I guess this will be the guy that introduces the new guys to their new home. What crap. Whoa! He did- oh damn. I think I want to go back now. Don't move. I don't think it can see us. That is not promising. Okay, that... Can I please get out now? New 
go. Get to higher ground. Yeah, it sounds good to me. First off, options. Tell me there are subtitles on this thing somewhere. Difficulty medium. Warning, adjusting difficulty affects trophies. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Training or subtitles. Okay, then keep running. How do you like that, mister? Whoa. Now, would you kindly find a crowbar or something? Bloody splicer. Seal Johnny in before they... Goddamn splicers. Oh, best for trails on the night. I have no idea what that means. I also have no idea where I'm supposed to go. I could really use a flashlight. Find a weapon. Look near the broken door. Uh, I'm assuming this is the broken door. Can I use a sign? Ryan doesn't own us. Ooh. There seems to be some, um, dispute. Amongst this little utopia he's built. Aha! A wrench! Eh. Personally, we'll prefer to crowbar. Now, nah, where do we go from here? I'd probably just break my way through here. Oh, crap! Hey! Woo! Buddy! Take it easy! Damn. Okay, um, I think this is a good time to just pause that, and we'll continue next time on part two. See you guys there.